Hey, this is Mike with the Benzoy Effect Channel. We're going to be talking about the new patch of LSPDFAR 0.4 and all the cool new features coming up next. Hey, it's been so. We're going to be talking about the LSPD for 0.4 patch. And if you'd like to support this channel, guys, uh, share this video through Twitter or Facebook. Uh, please drop a like. And if you're brand new to the channel, welcome, guys. If you like subscribing, please do so down below. So, guys, uh, pinned a comment down below with multiple timestamps. So, for example, if you want to learn more about character customization or the new police departments that you can create, or perhaps the new crime system that's coming up in the new LSPD for 0.4 patch, uh, just click on the timestamp down below. Uh, because this video is going to be a little lengthy, so just click on the timestamp down below and you'll go straight to that section of the video. LSPFR 0.4 was first announced a little bit over a year ago by Sam, and he's one of the lead developers for the actual LSPDFR mod for GTA 5. And you'll notice that one of the biggest things they focused on the most and the most the, the major theme of 0.4 is character. So we're going to talk about that first. You can see here in the picture that uh, you got a new character creator that is coming out in 0.4 that looks pretty amazing. Now before we were having to use emergency uniform pack and also skin control uh, before in the past through different mods and things like that created by the different modders of the community. Now it looks like they've actually integrated this into the 0.4 which is uh, in my opinion actually fantastic because all of us now can actually create our own a character from scratch and you can see right here you can create different types of hair uh, obviously you can see right here through appearance from skin aging to moles and freckles skin damage eye color and you can see there's also another little section right here that uh, there's gonna be 11 sections of the appearance menu that you'll be able to create actually a little bit more of a detailed character and then also if you look a bit lower in this particular photo right here we have an, another example of the character creator and uh, that is going to be heritage and features where you can edit the character to make it look a little bit more like yourself or somebody that you just want to actually have a police officer of, for example. And you can see there the appearance and the appearance is going to be a big one right there because you're going to be able to change uh, probably tattoos and also like facial hair, for example, uh, maybe glasses and things like that. But uh, the cool thing about this particular uh, mod is that uh, you no longer have to go outside you know the modding community per se and uh, you're going to be able to create your own character within the actual game itself and if you look real close uh, this is a default uh, outfit right here and so what you're going to probably going to end up creating is just the character and then you can actually put the the clothes on your character uh, for different types of uh, departments for example the l uh, the los santos sheriff's department or blaine county sheriff maybe the LSPD and we'll talk about more about uniforms a little bit, a little bit later but the cool thing is you don't need to necessarily need another mod for this uh, which actually will help in the long run because it doesn't eat away your frames um, and uh, with EUP it's a it's a great mod but sometimes if you have it running in the background with the, the EUP menu for example and that's the emergency uniform pack it can kind of actually settle your frames down a little bit by you know, maybe even, even by five frames can make a drastic gameplay difference. So this is going to be cool. The cool thing about also with the character creator is that EUP is actually uh, compatible with this. So if, uh, you know, the maker of EUP, he can actually, it's already compatible. So the cool thing is you can, you know, create different uniforms and things like that with EUP if you want to, if you want to use that, if you still want to use that. Otherwise, you can use the LSB Fire 0 0.4 new character creator which in my opinion is pretty awesome. Another cool feature that's coming at the LSPDFR 0.4 is Epic Customization. This was announced by Sam on March the 11th, 2018 in the news and update section of the forums. And I must say this is probably one of the coolest form of update they're coming with the 0.4 and the fact that we can now have custom agencies within our gameplay and what that means to you is that you can actually create your own agency within the game your own police department within the game the lspd for our game and this is in my opinion probably the coolest feature of the lspd for 0.4 patch so let me explain this in kind of detail is that for example on this part of the map you know we have rockford hills for example, it's kind of a more of a rich style of the neighborhood, if you will, of the LSPD Far map. 
and you can actually create your own Rockford Hills Police Department. And you can have it as an independent city, and uh, like I said, with its own department, uh, which is really cool. And if you want to also add in, like say this part of the map right here, Vespucci Beach, uh, that's pretty cool. So you can actually have Vespucci Beach or Del Perro Beach uh, Police Department. So you'll have your own custom agency. You can create your own custom officers that will have uh, you know, their own uniforms, for example. Like in this picture here, you got uh, the female here. If you look real close, that is a Rockford Hills Police Department uniform. And uh, you can add those to different police agencies, which in my opinion, that, that's gonna be freaking awesome. And so, and the cool thing is also, is that they'll have their own patrol areas. So if you have a Rockford Hills Police Agency, you're not gonna wanna see them near, you know, this beachy beach or you're not gonna to wanna to see them near Grove Street, for example, you can actually create your own uh, Davis Police Department as well. And uh, so they're gonna only be patrolling around their own little section. You know, that's the power of the 0.4 new patch is uh, you'll only have the, those particular agencies patrolling around that particular zone, which is really awesome. So uh, be on the lookout for that. It's coming in 0.4. Here's the uh, XML files that you can see that the modders are going to probably have a field day with this. And also yourself, you can actually manipulate these as well without having to have a modder do it for you. But the different agencies, you can see L uh, Los Santos Police Department right there. This, in my opinion, is probably going to be agency with the Rockford Hills Police Department. So you can probably see how they're already adding in another police department, which is going to be pretty cool. And then the cop inventory, what that means is that you can actually go in there and uh, create a new inventory list for your police officers. So if you want to have them completely decked to the nines, you know, with uh, carbine rifles and, um, you know, any other kind of weapons, you know, missile launchers or whatever you want to do, you can now put that in their inventory. And then also the cop outfits, you can uh, go in there and then probably change to uh, add in, you know, different patches to your uniforms, things like that. So it's going to be pretty epic, guys. LSPD for 0.4 brings us to a new topic called the technology and in my opinion this is probably the coolest feature of the new patch and one of the uh, the features is called the crime system and what that means is in LCPDFR for example back in the day when the first police mod was ever introduced as GTA 4 we used to be able to press alt e whenever we saw something suspicious, you know, someone breaking into a car and these kinds of things, or if someone walked up and just started hitting you, uh, you could press Alt E, this is back in the day, and then the it would trigger an event, and then uh, the actual dispatch would announce that you need assistance, or maybe someone hit you and just ran off or something like that. And then you could press Alt E, and then that would trigger an event. So right now with LSPDFR, we don't have that ability really to trigger an event. Uh, so what would happen is the AI would be stupid and they'd come up and just hit you for no reason or if you got in their face or they'd pull out a gun, things like that and just push you and because they don't really identify you as a police officer to be to be uh, fair. So what would happen is they would start hitting you or they would start hitting each other and uh, wouldn't trigger an event. So you didn't feel like you're really immersed into the game. So all this is being changed with the advent of the crime system. So now if, for example, in this picture right here, you can see the female officers kind of patrolling around uh, a particular part of the, the map here, and she's watching somebody break into a vehicle. And then also I'm showing a video right here too of, uh, of a, an event that could occur, for example, someone breaking into a car window and trying to steal something. And so that's going to be uh, something we're going to talk about in a minute called an ambient event. And we'll talk about that. But the cool thing is you can actually phone this into dispatch and talk directly to dispatch and then create an event. And what that means is the system will now register the criminal actually committing a crime. And then another cool thing is you can actually have 911 callers call in about a crime that just that was just committed and then you could either respond to it yourself or you could wait for backup so i can't begin to tell you how cool this is going to be to be able to you know maybe just walk the beat for example and not have to patrol all the time or maybe you are patrolling and maybe you'd see somebody break into a window or maybe somebody runs you over in a damn car how many times does that happen right and then uh you you can't have something trigger because the game doesn't know what happened so now you can actually trigger an event by phoning it into dispatch and say hey I just got hit by a damn vehicle you know send backup now 
you know, the, that's the cool part. Or if right now on the LSPD far zero point, you know, I'm um, sorry, three point zero point three point one. If you try to call it in, the they would show up, but they didn't know what to do. You know, the, they don't know what just happened. But now with this particular system, you can actually trigger an event, which is freaking awesome. So one of the things I was going to talk to you about too is scenarios. This is the coolest part, in my opinion, of 0.4, hands down. We usually had to have like the help of modders to be, you know, to be able to create a scenario, for example, uh, with the help of maybe Albo creating a scenario with some of the, uh, the wanted suspect that you pull over, they get out of the car, they start shooting you, or maybe they get out of the car, throw their hands up, things like that. So now with LSPD far 0.4, they created a scenario where what if you maybe pull over a vehicle that you're speeding or that was speeding or maybe their lights were off or they have a light out or something like that. You pull them over for whatever reason. What if I was to tell you that they can get out, throw their damn hands up and like and, and because they're pissed off, you know, they're, they're like this, not like this, but they're like this. You know, what the hell, man? You know, I mean, you see it all the time on cop videos. Uh, people getting out of their cars and maybe come aggressively towards you and then you have a choice to make either do you phone it in right then or do you uh, point a taser at them get them out, down on the ground uh, things like that or maybe they're just kind of pissed off and they're walking back and forth in front of their vehicle that happens all the time in real life and this is going to be one of the power uh, of this particular 0.4 one of the powerful parts of this particular patch is that you, you now have scenarios and another cool thing is that you know with the modders the actual big modders like sam and lms the creator of lspdfr are going to create new scenarios in this particular patch and they're going to invite new modders to create their own scenarios so we'll be able to download new scenarios guys that we can uh you know wait for somebody else to come out with that and that's going to be just crazy i know uh that these miters are going to just go hog wild on this because i just can't wait for to pull somebody over and just i don't know just something different you know have them you know get kind of pissed off in the front of the vehicle and then i can you know tell them to get down on the ground with a taser or maybe i can go up and talk to them so maybe the new miters can you know make it into an interaction where we talk to the people calm them down a little bit you know because it's just a traffic ticket you know just a tra traffic stop it doesn't have to escalate to something you know dramatic uh or if you want to go full blown i'm sure the modders are going to have a field day with this where they come out with a freaking weapon perhaps an uzi and start shooting at you while you're just approaching just to give them a damn ticket maybe they're wanted you know you never know so that's going to be added into the 0.4 patch LSP for 0.4 is going to come with the new pursuits and intervention technology and this is going to be really cool for the new patch and so we're going to be able to pull up a new vehicle pursuit menu and this particular menu is going to give us an option uh, to create you know which agency do you want to get involved with the pursuit and then also you can have multiple agencies rockford hills uh, del perro beach for example mirror park agency kind of helping you out with different pursuits this is just like real life uh, you see different counties getting involved and helping out with long pursuits that go on for over an hour two hours uh, what have you and you can set it to different behaviors like tracking for example you can have the the actual air support track the individual and then also the cool part about this in my opinion is that you can have the ai perform less lethal force and so uh, right now they have it set up to where the ai just starts shooting at the suspect um, you know you can set it up where they don't shoot the suspect at all would be kind of cool right in my opinion uh, if you are behind a suspect that's speeding uh, maybe they stole a vehicle. I mean, you know, it's, it's not realistic for the police department to just start shooting rounds, you know, 50 caliber of weapons and things like that from the air support, you know, into the vehicle in question, you know, so uh, that's going to change the whole AI behavior, which is going to be really cool. And then also, uh, if, for example, another cool feature they're going to have in this is that certain vehicles only go a certain uh, you know miles per hour so if you're tracking down or if you're in pursuit of a uh, supercar you know for example a prototype that has the capability of going 200 miles per hour uh, they're going to make this realistic so you can either leave it as default where you can catch up to the sports car or you can also have it as realistic and maybe you know that particular uh, adder 
is you know doing 150 for example you're not going to be maybe catch up you know as fast so you can set up realistically and have these sports cars leave you in the dust and have them you know go in a tracking mode the ai uh, you can also if you decide you know that it's just too high risk uh, it's taking too much time for this particular pursuit you can terminate the pursuit which is also another cool feature uh, and then maybe have just the air support track them and then what if they ditch the car the AS, the ai support can actually follow them with a spotlight which is really cool so on the subject of pursuit intervention techniques you can actually have the ai perform pit maneuvers which is really awesome in my opinion uh, this is, brings a whole new realism to the game uh, the ai will actually do pit maneuvers you can uh, decide whether they do or they do not perform pit maneuvers but if you decide to do pit maneuvers you could probably end the chase pretty rapidly without having to uh, you know fire a single shot which in my opinion is very realistic so you can see in this video right here the AI is actually getting up next to the vehicle and actually performing a pit maneuver. And that's a pretty sweet pit maneuver in this particular game. I must say it, it, they nailed the suspect's vehicle, spun them around, and then got in front of them. That's the way it's supposed to be in real life as well. Another cool feature with the police pursuits is the actual AI helicopter now is not going to be flying too low. Uh, they've been flying too low. They've been crashing into bridges and whatnot and sometimes buildings. You hear these distant explosions while you're on a pursuit call and not anymore. They're, they're going to be flying at a proper uh, height to the actual pursuit. So you're not going to see them flying into buildings anymore. So that's another cool feature they've added into the patch. You can see in this particular picture right here. The helicopter is way above where, you know, the actual scene is taking place. So if there is like a standoff in uh, a gas station, for example, they're not going to be flying that low, uh, very unrealistic. They're going to be flying at a proper height, which is really cool. LSPD FAR 0.4 now brings ambience, which is a good addition to the new uh, LSPD FAR gameplay. And to kind of give you a demonstration of that, have you ever played LSPD FAR and you pull out your stun gun? And then just everybody starts running away from you and just pure terror and you know how unrealistic that is and how stupid that looks and then also the people that are honking at you non-stop flipping you off while you're trying to perform a traffic stop uh, they are going to recreate this in a whole new way they're completely revamping the ai system which uh, that way people are not running away from you in complete terror every time you pull out your stun gun. So this will be a really nice addition. Uh, they're also bringing in a new interaction menu system to your actual character. So you can create uh, maybe, for example, a happy mood for your character. So uh, you can, you know, depending on how you want to play, you want to play a happy or you want to uh, angry cop or whatever you want to say. You can see right there, they looks like they've got some interaction menus as well. Uh, the uh, quick GPS system, I think that'll kind of guide you to the nearest jail, jail point, which will be really nice whenever you get a suspect in the back. The What we used to have to rely on was arrest manager, and that way you don't have to use arrest manager anymore, for at least for that anyway. So, um, And then also you can see the interaction menu, which we'll talk about the police radio in just a moment. But you can see the, uh, the action there. It looks like maybe you'll have some uh, scenarios that you could do like dance or maybe drink or smoke or what have you and then you can see the different walk styles as well you could be uh, you know actual cop style of walk style which will be pretty nice uh, you know sometimes uh, you may want to choose a different walk style you know yeah, maybe if you're working undercover for example Another cool addition is uh, you know, what we were just looking at there right there is going to be how you hold the radio. So before we would hold our, we would put our right hand up to the radio and then we would kind of talk into the radio, if you will. It was a really cool animation. And uh, this time you actually get a chance to pull the radio out and talk to it, just like this picture right here is showing. And you can see, it looks like he's talking into the to the radio there. In the police radio, you can see it's a handheld device, or you could probably choose it as being, I'm guessing, probably like a shoulder device like we're already used to. But I think the handheld device looks cooler, in my opinion, at least right now. Uh, you can see available for calls. Uh, we had that already in the system, but this looks like it's going to be uh, part of the police radio. You can just tell them that you're not available for calls. And then you can see closed nearby ro roads. They actually already have this in the system. We don't use this very much, at least I don't. And I know a lot of LSPD fire video makers do not tend to use the closed nearby roads uh, system. They already have in, in check right now, but we're going to be able to use this 
uh, maybe through the radio it looks pretty cool another cool addition is the actual flashlight so you can see by this picture right here uh, the police officer's got the flashlight that's actually held up over his right shoulder and uh, that is a more of a realistic approach to the way police officers you know shine their flashlight they don't typically you know at their waist level shine the flashlight like that it's always by their right shoulder uh, up above so they can get a you know a better look at what's being pointed in front of them and i'd really love to see an animation where and tell me if you agree with this maybe in the comment section where you can have the flashlight in one hand and then have the uh, the, the pistol in the other hand a lot of police officers do that I know there's an attachment already with the with the flashlight module that you can have it as an attachment to the actual pistol but I think this would be more realistic where a police officer has the flashlight in one hand and then the pistol goes underneath I think that would be a really cool addition let me know what your thoughts are on that and you can also see the radius of the actual spotlight from the from the flashlight it looks really epic in my opinion Okay, the next addition to the ambient system is going to be for ambient crime. Now, this thing is fantastic and probably one of the one of the best things being brought to the new patch is uh, the ability to witness crimes in progress. And uh, this is what we are going to be looking at in this particular patch. Now, before we were having to rely on wilderness callouts, you know, people that are firing their gun illegally uh, throughout the city or mostly more north of the map, people that are illegally hunting, things like that. Um, and also, I think they had a ambient event where people stole a purse and they would run through the street. Uh, that was kind of cool. And then they also had GTA 5 comes alive. And then we also can't forget about redneck callouts, which I really wish they would re revamp that and then, you know, update a little bit better. That would be pretty cool. But with the new ambient crime system, guys, we're going to be able to witness things that are part of LSPD for 0.4. And you can see by this picture right here. Uh, the two guys in the back looks like uh, actually looks like a, maybe a woman and a man are fighting and you can see the officer right here is pulling up his radio he's getting ready to phone that in to dispatch and then that way it can trigger an event and since this is an, an event technically a, an ambient crime that was being committed or being actually uh, presented into lspd of 0.4 we will now be able to, to radio that in and then it will trigger an event that the police officers can actually respond to that event and maybe draw their guns or taser or maybe they can just break up the fight. Uh, I can see this going a lot of different ways and this will be a pretty fantastic addition you know, to the actual 0 0.4. So uh, that part I cannot wait on. This is going to be purely epic. And last but not least, LSPD for 0.4 obviously is confirmed for February 2019. And uh, once again, they are stressing really heavily on character customization. The cool thing about the character customization that they're bringing to the table here is how you spawn into your character. And if you look real close to this particular video, uh, it's showing sort of like what they do with uh, the single player mode right now, where you, when you switch between characters, whether it's be Franklin or Trevor or Michael, it, it zooms in to where they are at that particular moment. And you'll probably recognize this sort of from a Michael scene, like maybe zoom it into his house. So you'll zoom in once you log in. And then once the, the actual gameplay starts to come up, you'll zoom into your character, the one, every, the one that you decided to pick, and then the one that's gonna be defaulted to the one that you pick. And then I think what is the way it's gonna work is you're gonna zero into your home and you're gonna have your own house and you're going to be able to walk around your own house and then probably they're going to set it up at least in my opinion i think it would be kind of cool is that they set it up to go where you can go to your closet and then you can pick out your outfit for the day as to which you know department you're going to work for and then leave from there to go to your job so that'll be pretty cool i'll plan on doing a lot of episodes like that leaving from my own house you know and then going to work Another cool addition they're going to be adding into LSPD for 0.4 is the fact that they have synced the actual gameplay to the actual server of LSPDFAR.com. So Cyan, if I'm not, if I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, uh, Cyan is uh, the website developer for LSPDFAR.com. Uh, she's going to have it synced to where you can actually upload, actually automatically, your statistics as a police officer. So if you look real close here, you can see uh, this is just an example for Frank Tenpenny. Uh, arrest made, 69. Shots fired, only six. That's pretty, uh, that's not very good there. I'm just saying, yeah, just kidding. Tickets issued, you're gonna be able to, it's gonna put your stats up for that. 
Um, contraband found, which is going to be pretty cool. Person's frisked, which is going to be pretty cool to see your stats on that. Now, this is interesting here. Showers taken. So I wonder if we're going to be able to do that maybe in our own houses. That'll be pretty cool. Vehicle stopped. That'll be pretty cool. And then minutes of TV watch, which will be obviously in our house. So I have a feeling that these two will be connected to where we can do that in our own house, which would be pretty cool. But this is, I love this, how it's uh, going to be integrated into the lspdfar.com site where you can actually, it'll do it automatically if you sync it. So if you look right here, you're going to want to sync this and you can see this is, uh, he's on duty and you can sync your gameplay to the lspdfar.com site, which will be really cool. And then it automatically uploads how many shots fired and arrests made and all that other cool stuff. Another cool thing they're going to be adding into LSPDFAR 0.4 is you can actually take your character that you created and actually go on missions and also it looks like you can actually practice your sidearm down at the range and then you can uh, now buy Sprunk for example. Before we didn't have any money as a police officer it always say you don't have enough money to buy a soda or something like that. But now you can buy Sprunk and chill out. You can go down to the range and actually use your character that you created to, to do the shooting range which is pretty cool. You can even do a triathlon and I'm guessing you might even be able to, to actually play some missions in GTA 5 part of single player which is the you know sort of like the character that you created like a multiplayer but you can play it in single player that'll be pretty cool another cool thing they're gonna be adding into ls pretty far 0.4 is the the fact that you can frisk people uh, a lot better it looks gonna be a lot cleaner you know so the developers sam and lms you can see right here by this picture right here they have looks like some gangbangers up against the the, the garage door here and then uh, they've got four of them lined up he's frisking this one if you look to the left it says identification found and you can see the guy's name weapon found so that'll be a whole new system set up where you can see that the person's frisking them and it looks really as far as the picture goes it looks pretty flawless and then one thing i was going to point with this picture right here which is pretty epic you can see how she has him by the arm now right now we're using stop the ped and it's not bad, but you can see there's a little bit of clipping issues, things like that. And that's from, you know, the modders, the botting community came up with that. So props to them, but this is going to look so much better where you can actually arrest somebody and then hold them by their arm and guide them to the actual police car. All right, guys, this is going to go ahead and do our episode for today. I hope you enjoyed the LSPDFAR 0.4 discussion. And if you have any discussion comments or anything you want to add to this particular video, please post down below in the comment section. And be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next LSPDFAR 0.4 release.